Good morning cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off primed and ready for invasion. So just to recap, we are at war with Nagarond, and they have managed to confederate angry elven Squidward. So we need to take this opportunity to claim the rest of Lustria, which is why we are, well, like I said, primed and ready for invasion. I'm a little worried for Adam though. I'm hoping that he's going to be okay to take Chipotle by himself, but... We could just reinforce him fairly quickly, so we should be fine. So in between episodes, I went ahead and had some buildings get commissioned. So we are upgrading some of our, what's it, um, settlement defense buildings. And I think that's about it for that. Uh, so I've left myself with about 7,000 buckaronis because I want to build something in our little under empire here, if I can click on it. And that is the subterranean pit. I'm hoping that we can get this upgraded to the mine shafts and um, maybe use this as a way to expand our under empire to adjacent regions. So that to me sounds like it's going to be free under empires. Although I just noticed this borders, so I don't know if it only affects the settlements inside of this region here. Um. But we'll go for it. And if it turns out that we need to build a bomb quickly, we can just do that. But we can't have both buildings in this location because then we're just going to get discovered. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do what we can. But um, we may need to change our plans accordingly. And I think... Is that it? I guess that is it. Um, do we want to maybe damage their walls? I guess there's no real need to do that, is there? Then maybe, what, do we explore more of this place? I guess we should. And Gimbolt, why don't you go down south and see what the world reveals to us. A lot of Nagrond in Ulthwan. Hmm. Are we actually corrupting this place at all? Barely. Alright then, I guess you might as well do some exploring. Hmm. This is problematic. If we can somehow find a way to join forces with the last defenders, we might be able to fend them off. Or we'd have to get lucky or very strategic and pick off their um, Nagaron's armies one by one. Which is of course easier said than done. And Pustin, um, seven more turns until we can get ourselves a new Under Empire. I wonder if this building is affected by that count or that cooldown. Hopefully not. Then why don't you in the meantime steal some technology? Fantastic. Alright, Vortex Ritual, we will not do. Not yet anyways. Maybe once we've uh, taken care of the southern coast of Lustria, including the Fortress of Dawn, and then we start heading up north? Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. So for now, unfortunately, our ritual will have to wait. Alright, so Kralk's almost at Lothurn. Uh, once he's there, we'll have to wait another six or five turns before we can um, set up an Under Empire in Lothurn. Hmm. Are they moving towards us? I'm confused by their actions. And also, how the fuck do they have like 50 million armies? Oh, right. It's the AI. That's why. Pegs a boom. Uh, during a raid on a, on a minor dwarf outpost, one of your lords captures a dwarven powder hall. We can set a light for 4,000 buckaronis, or get the odd powder keg, which doesn't seem all that useful, I guess. Although it does reduce speed, which is kind of nice. Um, or we can expand the tunnels, which we don't really need to do. Let's gift it to static display. Wait. Ah, oh, yes! So that means that he's level 15, right? Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, why did we get notifications? They're different? The growing intellects and egos of Scry's warlock engineers have necessitated. The laboratory facilities are expanded. The forbidden workshop has now been upgraded. The new warp tech uh, lab is equipped with the best possible equipment and facilities available, enabling the research of more advanced parts. Through the building and field testing of uh, myriad uh, of myriad weapons. Isn't there supposed to be an, a myriad of weapons? And the burning of millions of pitiful victims. 
You have gained an unequaled knowledge of martial technologies. The Forbidden Workshop has been upgraded. Wait, did it get upgraded twice? In the laboratories of the Great Warp, uh, Warp Forge, even the secrets of energy, space, and time are seemingly at your call, and the rules of physics manipulated at your whim for the purposes of forging destruction and murder. Further part upgrades are now available. Whoa! What? Oh, I see. We instantly qualified for the next level. Holy shit. Wow, that is fantastic. So now we have 15 warp fuel. Um, I guess we should upgrade some of our stuff. How about the doom rocket, though? Hmm, casualty replenishment rate increase after using a doom rocket in battle. I don't think we need to increase our storage limit. Or power plant, um, or weapons team stuff. I guess a ghillie fursuit wouldn't be a bad idea. So, sure, we'll get one of those. And now we have access to the eye takers, I think. Hazmat fursuits. It does increase armor, which is pretty nice. Uh, and what else? Ammunition and missile damage for rattling gunners. Or concentrated flame. Ammunition increase range and anti-large for warp fire throw units. Holy crap. All of this sounds awesome. Uh, I'm gonna limit myself to maybe two more upgrades, because I don't want to completely run out of warp fuel. Since we might need to keep some around for nuking and all that such. And Craven Rounds increases range for warp lock Gisales. And armor piercing damage, which is pretty nice. Sure. And let's go for... Mmm, our warp fire throwers don't see as much action. No. But... Hmm. You know what? We'll go for the claw crafted bullets. Sure. And then when we have some more uh, stuff, we'll go ahead and, um, you know, get the other upgrades and all that such. My goal is to, of course, get every single upgrade, but we'll see how that all pans out. Alright, Simus. Let's have you start things off by attacking the Southern Sentinels. And it's going to be a pretty easy fight, it seems. 32 lost. Well, that's embarrassing for the uh, families of the 32 dudes. Assuming that they're not all from the same family. Which they very well could be. Since we are talking about Skaven. Um, do we need to set this up to level 3? Hmm. Chipotle is the capital, which I think is probably the more important one. Alright, so we use 20 per level. Let's just go with level 2. Alright. Uh, I don't think we need this right now. We will, however, get the Rattling Warrens. Uh, Chipotle. Alright, uh, let's do Ickets Hissing God first. Alright, another easy fight. Do we want to give the Cape of Sniper to someone? Maybe we'll give them to the Rattling Gunners. Yeah, that'll be good. Because these guys should have the Gilly Fursuits, yes? I think so, but I think the uh, Natty Boobos guys already come with that stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Right, auto-resolve this shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. We do have time for sacking shit, though. Alright, go ahead and take that. And we'll go with level 2 for this one as well. Sure. Stop with the rubbish pits, guys. Hmm... Hissing God, this is not a coast settlement. Or a port settlement. So, I guess we can just build whatever the fuck we want. Alright, Adam. Moment of truth. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Wow. Oh, it's because their garrison's not that great, but their walls are fairly decent. Okay, good job there, guys. Whoa! Holy fuck me! 20,000! Yes, please. This one we will occupy at level 5. Fantastic. Alright, so... That's great. We've got a scribe, etc, etc. Do you not have a scribe? We might want to get you a scribe. Um... Because they can increase campaign movement range, which is fairly nice. How many more scribes do we have? Because it'd be great if we can get a scribe for everyone. Artifact Hunter or Scribe? Um, I guess we've run out of Scribes. 
Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Um, but I suppose it can't be helped. Do we really want to upgrade? Fine, whatever. We'll keep one of the scrap heaps then. And there's a gold mining pit here. Fantastic. Obviously, we want to get the Taskmaster's platform. Uh, get the arcane generator. And it seems that this settlement is heading towards being a kind of resource center. And how about we get rid of the scrap heap from our capital and then instead build the arcane or build something else? Yeah, because we can always build the scrap heap generator somewhere else, right? Or whatever they're called. Sorry, I'm mixing up our terms now. All right, so the perch or the kill perches in Nagrond are completed. Fantastic. So our discoverability is in a whopping negative 20. So once we get this upgraded, that should be at negative. Sorry, negative 80, not negative 20. Um, so if I were to build this now. Huh. That would put us at positive 20, I think. No, wait. No, never mind. Negative, po positive 80. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I can't math. Turns out I can't math. But that's fine. Thankfully, math is a minimal skill that's required for this, um, for the playthrough of this game. Well, kind of. Uh, Warp Attack, I guess we might as well increase our charge bonus. I don't know how useful a charge bonus is for an assassin, but sure. And Avalon has also leveled up. Uh, what do we want to work on for you? I guess we should work on this stuff. Ancient Cunning, or... What's your... Ambush chance at right now, because... I feel like if we can ambush enemies, um, that might help us a lot because then we can pick out, pick them off one by one, right? Sure, so let's give Avalon some uh, ambush capabilities. No and Static, you are now level 15, so we will get you your very own fucking Doom Wheel. Very nice. Where the fuck are you, by the way? Oh, you're still up there. Did I forget to move you last time? I may have forgotten to move you last time. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's get you back to C. Now, question is, do we want to keep you around here, or should we have you move down south? I guess keeping you around this area would not be the worst idea. Though, it would be nice for you to uh, still get some more experience points and whatnot. But not super important. Skrull is hiding out with Avalon, that's fine. Pustin, what are you up to, girl? Boy, girl, um genderless rat thing. Why don't you just do some more scaling of technology? Sure. And we will... Yeah, work on that stuff. Alright, uh... And that's gonna take three turns to build. That's fine. Who else needs to move? Kralk? Alright, Kralk. You're not gonna be able to, um... Build an Under Empire just yet, but, um... Soon. In about six turns, so not at all soon, but in like 50 million years. Gotcha. And Silent the Mad. Some more scouting, please. Okay, so the inner part of the um, elven anus is still... Maybe owned by Lothern? Nope. That's not true at all. It turns out that Lothern are pretty much on the way out, which is uh, a bit of a double-edged sword because... I don't know. I feel like Nagaron really need enemies, but, um... They're... Kind of collapsing at this point. Ah, shit! I forgot to build stuff. Oopsie. That's my bad. Mmm... It's insane! I've got, like, what? Seven? Six armies? Oh, shit. Speaking of armies... I forgot to, um... Recruit some of my own. Because I meant to um, summon some additional ones, right? Yeah. Oh, that's what I needed to do off camera. Fuck, I completely forgot about that. Shit. Sorry. Um. Alright, well. Since we already have the Warlock Masters. Let's get ourselves some more Warlords. Yeah, we'll get Stretch here. Mm. We'll start you off with Bonebreaker and Ravenous Expansion. Boot Marcher. Uh, and I guess Tail Weapon? Yeah, enable magical attacks, thank you. And let's go for melee attack and armor. That's good. And then we'll come back for weapon strength and all that shit later on. That's good. Deadly Onslaught. 
Sure, why not? Fantastic. All right, Stretch, we do need to give you a new name, so let me just quickly... Um, sorry, I didn't realize that the game would pause like that, but uh, give you a name here. All right, so I believe next up on our list is... Let's go with... Hmm. Who hasn't had a name yet? Let's go with... Matrix Disc. Fantastic. Welcome to the world, Matrix Disc. You are now a sniveling rat. Fantastic. Alright, so we need to get you some new uh, troops, obviously. Um, We'll go with the same format that we have with the other teams, I think. Yeah. Uh, what else do we need here? Poison Wind uh, Mortars, Warp Block Gisales, Death Glow Bombardiers, Rattling Gunners, Warp Fire Throwers, and Health Hit Abomination, a couple of Rat Ogres, Doom Wheel, Doom Flayers, Warp Cannon, um, and Play Claw Catapult. And last but not least, one Assassin. And I think that's about all we really need to do there. Mmm, tough? I guess we'll get Liv. Yeah, obviously Liv Tyler herself, in rat form. Because why not? Uh, Venomous Blades, and all that shit, please. Alright. Sure. Let's go with Gutter Fighter. Alright, Liv, whenever possible, please join up with uh, Matrix Disc. Mmm... So, we're still making about 20,000 buccaronis, and we have seven armies. I think I might want to get myself another one. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to do that in Itza. No, we might want to do that in the southern Great Jungle region. So, what is it here that we don't have, that we have up here? The weapons teams, right? I see. Um... Hmm... All right, well, that's fine if we can't get ourselves a uh, weapons team right now. Strategist? Weapon Master? Maybe we should get a Master Assassin. That could be interesting. But I really like the whole um, other thing that they can do with the uh, increasing of... Uh, what's it? Money. Raven ex expansion here is pretty clutch, I gotta say. All right, so we'll just kind of roll with whatever we've, uh, system we've got going here, I guess. <laughs> Oop, shit, my bad. Uh, you know what, we'll just keep it, because I really don't want to undo that the whole thing. Alright, so next up on our list is... Uh, let's go with... Mmm... D.N. Sure. Alright, D.N., welcome to the world. Uh, we will go with the same team that we did before. Yes, except for the uh, weapons teams, which we'll have to get later on, I guess. Uh, help put Abomination, Rat Ogres, Doom Wheel, Doom Flayer, Warp Light Cannon, etc, etc. And Assassin, please! Please? Alright, Cypress or Warpstone Hoarder? Chief Doomclaw? Okay, well, your name can't be Chief Doomclaw because we, we already have a Chief Doomclaw. That's a big no-no, sir. If there's one thing I need to maintain in my um, armies, is that no repetition of names. So, you're gonna be named um, Chief... Butt Sex. From the prestigious Butt Sex uh, lineage, of course. Famous around the world for... Um, well, the obvious, which is obviously um, baked goods. All right, well, I don't think Ikid needs to replenish any troops, so let's have you moving towards Lansek. Mm, do we want to send Adam to the tip of Lustria? Or do we want to send him to the Citadel of Dusk? That is the capital, so I guess what we can try to do is maybe have him go to the tip of Lustria. And then afterwards, swing on down to uh, Citadel of Dusk and catch her together with Ikit. Can you get there, please? Not enough warp stone. No, no, don't don't blame it on the warp stone. Get there, at a boy. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? It may have been. Simus, um, let's have you go towards Kax then, which is the capital. All right, take a look at it. 
Oh. Another easy picking. Sure, take it. Take that shit. Sack that shit. And... Okay, we still have enough uh, movement for the occupying of that shit. Hmm. Level 5. I guess. Whoa! It already comes with some of these advanced buildings. Very nice. And doesn't seem like there's anything resource here. So I guess we'll just go with this. King generator. And of course, let's not forget the uh, Taskmaster's platform. Alright. Um, What do we want here? You know what? This place will get the weapons dump. Sure. I don't know if I want to upgrade this right now. Although we are fucking rich. So we might as well, I guess. Alright. Um... We could probably afford another army, especially if we get ourselves another uh, warlock, or not a warlock, but a, um, one of these guys, because even with the additional army, we're still making like 20,000 buckaronis, which is pretty batshit crazy. I gotta say, that, uh, that leader style or whatever, holy fuck, they're like overpowered. That is insane. Our upkeep is pretty much the same as it was before we uh, recruited that new guy, although... Let's wait until we've got the full army up and running, because I'm sure that'll make a huge difference in our income. Or our net income, rather, but still. Pretty, pretty awesome. Whoa, what the fuck happened to Toralir? Oh, got destroyed by chaos. Right, right, stupid elves couldn't protect their stupid shit. Let's hope it's the same for the Dark Elves, which has so far been the case, because it seems they have almost no military presence down here at all. Alright, Simus, let's get you... Mm, bonded Service or Ancient Cunning? Hmm. Now that I think about it, I'm thinking Ancient Cunning might not be a bad idea for all of our dudes. Yeah, we might just switch over to that later on. Uh, anything else? Rolk? Still another five turns before we can do that shit, so why don't you just go ahead and steal some technology from the... Uh, high elves. Mm, let's get you some death frenzy. Right, Ono. Uh, let's work on your counter striker. Wait, hold on. Uh, no, no, no. We're not quite done with the other guy yet. What's his name? Where is he? Where is Pustin? Pustin, while you're waiting, steal that technology, brother. At a boy. All right. Uh, let's see. Flensing ruin. Yeah, since we kind of run out of stuff to um, give them, I guess we might as well get Flensing Ruin. And that's it for this turn. We still have a fuck ton of money that I should have maybe used. Crap, I keep forgetting about that. There's ults. Uh oh. Alright, well, um. It seems that we've finally drawn the ire of the um, Dark Elves, and they are now coming towards us. All hot and heavy with their... Is that a black arc? Oh, so it can only attack coastal settlements. Which I guess is still... Hmm... Fairly important. Oh, shit. None of these guys are close enough to be able to uh, take that down right now. Ah, shit. Um... Hmm... Problem is big problem but hopefully not one that we can't overcome hmm. troubling very troubling right for now though Ikit, um since we're here we might as well complete the uh our collection of these locations the night forest you can't get there this turn can you all right simus then you might as well wait at the border so that you can get their next turn. And let's upgrade this shit. I know Black Arcs move really, uh, relatively slowly, so maybe we'll have enough time. Hopefully. Uh, sure. It's a free building, so why not? Please take Zlansek. Not level 3. We'll just go with level 2? Eh, we'll just go with level 2. Yeah, same story as before. Whoa! Oh yes, I love these uh, pastures with their weird growths and all that crap. Sure. And tip of Lustria, please, Adam. Adam, boy. That's right, stomp their asses. 
Thank you. Mm, sack that shit. Just out of principle, I guess. And take that shit. Atta boy. Okay, um... Adam, you've leveled up. Let's get you working on... I guess Expeditious Endeavor, right? Unless there was something else that I was working on before. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Oh, no, wait. Woundmaker. How could I forget? Alright, so we just need to take the Citadel of Dusk, and that's it for this location. Gotcha. Alright. So, Ikka can't move this turn, and neither can Adam, of course. That's fine. Can Simus get there and raid? No, he can't. Alright. I'm really hoping that he doesn't attack the Star Tower. But if he does, it should be fairly well defended. Can we get ourselves another... Ah, uh, I see. So we can get ourselves another Warlord. Um, also named Chief Doomclaw. Again, a big fucking no-no. But I'm tempted by the Master Assassin. Maybe we'll get like one army of Master Assassins or something. Yeah, who has not moved? Pustin? Can we just set you to automatically do that every single turn? Until I tell you not to? I'm assuming I can't. Alright, so how many more turns until... Four more turns until the Ender Empire. Gotcha. Uh, steal that technology. Although, I don't know if I want to get the Under Empire set up in Lothern first or somewhere else. Chief Butt Sex? You know what to do. What the fuck, Chief Butt Sex? I didn't tell you to go there, you dingus. Liv Tyler, can you at least? There we go. At least Liv Tyler seems to understand her um, orders here. Right, Doomclaw. Work on that shit, please. Alright, I guess that's about it for this turn. Please don't do anything there, Admiral. See? I even pronounced your name perfectly. Just to appease you. What? Why is he going south? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm super jazzed that he's not attacking the altar of the horned rat, but... Um... Is he coming towards us to defend? Potion of Healing, or Feign Indifference. Well, Matrix just joined our team, so we should probably not antagonize him right now. Right, so Adam can actually attack the Citadel of Dusk right now. Uh, Ikit will have to march, but should be fine. Okay, uh, before we do that though, Simus, take the rest of the Night Forest. boy. And we will occupy this at level 2. Sure. All right, look at that. Looking good. And we will, of course, do explode the planning. So we're not making as much food as we once were, but that's fine. All right, Adam. Citadel Dusk awaits. And their garrison is just plain unadulterated garbage. All right, sack that shit. And you know what to do, buddy. Occupy that shit. Oh, no. All right, uh, we might have to just go with level two, unfortunately. That's fine. All right, so the capes are now ours. Great. Um, so I think we'll probably take over the Fortress of Dawn. Um, and then... Oh, it's not a very favorable climate, but that's fine. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should help out the uh, last defenders by destroying um, the presence of, of Nagron here. And then that way they can... Oh, wait. Then they would have basically unfettered access to my butthole. Which I'm not sure I want right now. In the meantime, though, uh, Ikit, let's have you move towards Chipotle. Mm, and it seems Warpatek has leveled up. There you go. Okay, Silent. Do some more scouting, please. Yeah... Nagarond are too fucking powerful. Like, holy crap. How the fuck did this even happen? They just grew unchecked. I've never seen these guys, like, expand so insanely quickly. Hmm. I mean, the only thing that changed since... What? Our last campaign is the presence of, um, Clan Eshin. And also... Malice... Dark Penis, or whatever the fuck that uh, new guy's name is? 
What's his name again? I don't remember, but um, that guy, the Elven Lord. The Elven Legendary Lord that was added. Huh. Alright, well, hopefully we'll see the um, Under Empire sp uh, spread from Nagarond. But I think we're going to have to end the episode off here for now. So, in between episodes, I promise I'll do this. I will possibly pump out another army to um, get started. And then maybe I'll upgrade some of our buildings as well. I might actually do the, do the building stuff first, and then if we have money left over, get started on another army, because that's going to be some pretty heavy expenses, I think. Yeah, we'll see. We have two new armies, though, so... Hmm. I'm hoping that we can get some variety. Maybe the next uh, Lord we'll get it will be a Master Assassin. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast!